Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Thornton. I am here to read you a book today called Manners at School. This week, we're going to be talking about manners during Harmony, and I thought that I would um, read you a book about it. So let's get started. Your school is a busy place. Using good manners can make it nicer for everyone. Good manners can also help everyone learn. Good manners show respect for teachers and classmates. There are lots of ways you can use good manners at school. Olivia gets to class on time each day. She always says, good morning, Mrs. Martin. She is using good manners. Do you know how I tell you good morning every morning in the hallways? Say good morning back. That's using good manners. Arnold gives his full attention to his teacher's directions. He is using good manners. So when your teacher is teaching at the front of the room, you should pay attention. Your eyes should be on the teacher. Focus. When her teacher asks the class to be quiet during a movie, Madeline stops talking to her friends. She is using good manners. You know, when the teacher asks you to do something, like watch something, you shouldn't be talking. So we want to make sure we're using good manners. Paul keeps his eyes on his own work. He never peeks at his neighbor's paper. He's using good manners. Guys, what's that called when you look at somebody else's paper and copy their answers? Right, cheating. We don't do that. We want to use good manners and do our own paper. Is it okay to raise your hand and ask for help from the teacher? Yes, it is. Alan and Corey stand in line quietly before recess. They are using good manners. So look at these children. These, Corey and Alan, they're standing nicely in line. These two aren't, aren't doing that. They are singing and moving around. So Corey and Alan are using good manners. These two girls are not using good manners. So think about that next time you're in line. I see a lot of students running up and down the hallway or twirling or touching poles as they're walking to lunch. You should be on that line walking nicely and quietly. Jamie cleans up her table after art class. She is using good manners. Isn't it important to clean up your own mess? Because you are responsible for your items in your mess so you need to clean it up so she's using good manners by cleaning up her mess owen raises his hand to ask his teacher a question he's using good manners that's right when you have a question for the teacher you don't run up to the teacher and pull on her shirt or pat her and say teacher teacher i have a question no you sit in your chair quietly and you raise your hand and you wait to be called on so it takes patience Bot shares her colored pencils with Alexandra. That's so sweet. She's using good manners. Isn't that nice to share? Being thoughtful and caring. Marco finishes his math test before his classmates do. He asks the teacher if he may borrow a book during his free time. He's using good manners. So instead of getting up and going getting a book that he wants, he asks the teacher if he can go get a book after he's done with his work. Isn't that great? That's so sweet. It's important to use good manners wherever you are in class. Good manners keep the classroom running smoothly. Let's talk about some fun facts on this page. It says, in Haiti, kids talk to their teachers only when asked a question. <gasps> Wow. In Japan, students clean the school at the end of each day. Do you imagine that after you learn that you have to come, you have to clean the whole school before you leave? <laughs> in Australia, children begin the school year in February and finish in December. They don't have a summer break. Their, their summer break is January, evidently. Teachers were once paid with food and a place to live. That's why students give their give their teachers apples. Huh. 
I would not that I need money to pay my bills. I can't live off that. In France, most children start going to school when they're three years old. Here, we start going to school at five in kindergarten. In Russia, people celebrate the Day of Knowledge on the first day of each school year. That's pretty neat. Celebration to start the school year. The end. So boys and girls, I want you to start showing good manners in school and remember what this book has taught you today. I look forward to seeing you in the hallways. Have a great day.